Uh, at CSDA, we pretty much adjusted all of our operations immediately uh, to be the resource uh, there for our members with various key stakeholders and, and you know, be the voice at the table. So I um, wanted to provide you an update on some of the things, uh, at least our initial efforts around the COVID pandemic, some resources that are available uh, to you as well. Some of CSDA's initial efforts around the COVID pandemic included immediately connecting and opening up dialogue with the California Office of Emergency Services, Cal OES, also the California Department of Public Health, Governor's Office, a whole host of other key stakeholders to ensure that both CSDA and our members were at the table as decisions are being made. This also included connecting special district general managers with Cal OES for a conference call as soon as the pandemic was first declared. CSDA also developed and launched a COVID-19 online community to provide members with timely information, resources around the topic, and allow districts to share information on how they are modifying operations in response to COVID-19. Additionally, we sent a letter to Congress urging them to include special districts as they're allocating resources, and we mobilized our membership to take action on this item as well. CSDA immediately launched a series of free webinars to ensure members received guidance on topics like uh, remote meetings, the Brown Act, human resource considerations based on the fluid COVID-19 directives. So you can get information on that in the COVID community. Also, CSDA's public affairs field coordinators are actively reaching out to members via email, phone, and video chat to check in, solicit questions and challenges, and connect special district officials with resources and best practices from federal, state, and local counterparts. CSDA's advocacy team uh, is connected to legislative offices, to committees in and around the Capitol uh, to ensure that special districts, our members, are uh, at the table and heard in regard to relief measures and new policies that may be developed around COVID-19. Uh, we have been in close contact with a lot of our members and really they're doing a phenomenal job um, out there throughout the state and adapting their operations to continue to keep needed services in place. More to come from CSDA in the coming weeks. Uh, in the meantime, stay safe and stay healthy.